Happy New Year everyone! 2019 has ended, and boy what a year. Additionally from getting the channel demonetized, I've actually had a small boost of subscribers. But alongside of 2019 ending, the 2010s have also come to their conclusion. So instead of doing a timeline of science in 2019, why not cover the whole decade? Plus I only did these for 2017 and 2018, and I guess 2016 kinda, sorta, but not really. So here we are, let's hop in the timeline machine and rewind to 2010. On 7 April 2010, a team of Russian and American scientists announced the creation of the newest super-heavy element, Tennessine, element 117. A week later, researchers produced human embryos containing DNA from three people, meaning it's now possible to have three parents. On the 20th of May, American researchers, led by Craig Venter, announced the creation of a synthetic living cell with an entirely artificial genome. And on the 29th September 2010, astronomers reported the discovery of Gliese 581g, the first exoplanet lying within its star's habitable zone. And on December the 8th, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft becomes the first commercial spacecraft ever to be successfully retrieved from orbit. On the 10th of January 2011, Kepler 10b is the first confirmed small rocky exoplanet. It is discovered in the Draco constellation using NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. And on 12 March 2011, surgeons successfully implant the first artificial heart in a patient. And on 18 March, NASA's Messenger spacecraft successfully enters orbit around the planet Mercury, the first probe to do so. On the 16th of July 2011, NASA's Dawn probe enters orbit around the asteroid 4 Vesta. And on the 21st of 2011, the Space Shuttle Atlantis returns from its final mission on the Space Shuttle program. And in one of the most iconic scientific blunders of the decade, on the 22nd September, an international team of scientists at CERN records neutrino particles apparently traveling faster than the speed of light. If confirmed, the discovery would have overturned Albert Einstein's 1905 special theory of relativity, which says that nothing can travel faster than light. But instead, some data got mixed up and neutrinos can in fact not travel faster than the speed of light. On the 31st October 2011, the global population reached 7 billion. And on December the 5th, NASA's exoplanet hunting Kepler mission confirms its first extrasolar planet in the habitable zone of a sun-like star. On the 23rd January 2012, South Korean scientists developed touchscreens that can recognize the existence and concentration of DNA molecules placed on them. The invention could allow the development of smartphones with the ability to diagnose users medical conditions and on the 6th of February Russian scientists reportedly break through the surface of the subterranean lake Vostok, buried beneath 4 kilometers of ice on Antarctica. The lake, which has not been uncovered for over 50 million years, may harbor a unique prehistoric ecosystem. And on the 6th of June 2012, EPv6, a new version of internet protocol, is officially launched, offering trillions of possible new web addresses as the finite number of IP addresses ran out. On the 4th of July 2012, scientists at CERN announced the discovery of the standard model's Higgs boson, the particle responsible for the Higgs field and thus all mass in the universe. On the 6th of August, NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission successfully lands the Curiosity rover on Mars. And on the 25th of the same month, NASA announces the Voyager 1 probe has passed the heliopause and entered interstellar space, becoming the first human-made object to leave the solar system. Then, on the 14th October, Australian skydiver Felix Baumgartner performs the highest skydive yet attempted, jumping from a pressurized capsule 39 kilometers above Roswell in New Mexico. Baumgartner became the first human to break the sound barrier without an aircraft during his jump. On the 15th of February, the most powerful atmospheric entry since 1908 arrives, in the form of the Chelyabinsk meteor above Russia, a 10-ton meteor which explodes upon entry, injuring 1,000 people in Russia. On 6 March, astronomers discovered the binary brown dwarf Lumen 16 at a distance of only 6.5 light years from Earth, the second closest star system to Earth which wasn't even known until 2013. On 6 July 2013, scientists report that a wide variety of microbial life exists in subglacial Antarctic Lake Vostok, which has been buried in ice for around 15 million years. 
Samples of the lake's water obtained by drilling were found to contain traces of DNA from over 3,000 tiny organisms. And on 22 October 2013, astronomers catalogued the 1,000 known exoplanet. And in November and December of 2013, Comet Ison approaches the Sun and there is expectations of a brightly visible comet from the Earth. However, the comet was unable to survive its solar approach. On 10 April 2014, NASA reports the discovery of the first exomoon candidate. And on the 6th of August 2014, the Rosetta spacecraft arrives at the comet 67P Shuryumov Gerasimenko. And on the 3rd of September 2014, the Lanaika supercluster is first identified. Then, on the 12th of November 2014, the Philae probe from the Rosetta spacecraft lands successfully on the surface of the comet Sharumov gerasimenko the first landing on a comet. On 6 March 2015, the Dawn spacecraft begins to orbit Cirrus, becoming the first spacecraft to visit a dwarf planet. During May 2015, it is confirmed that atmospheric carbon dioxide levels have surpassed 400 parts per million for the first time in millions of years, due to human pollution. And on the 22nd of April 2015, researchers in China published the results of basic research using CRISPR to edit genes in non-viable human embryos. On the 14th of July, the New Horizons space spacecraft performs a close flyby of Pluto, becoming the first spacecraft in history to visit the distant world. And on the 31st of July, a 100% successful Ebola vaccine has been found. Then, on 14 September 2015, the first gravitational waves are observed, as these are later announced in 2016. The next day, the Cassini probe around Saturn confirms an ocean under the icy crust of Enceladus. On 11 February 2016, the earlier discovery of the G-waves is announced. And on the 8th of April 2016, SpaceX successfully lands the first stage of a Falcon 9 rocket on a floating drone ship for the first time. Then, on the 4th of July 2016, NASA announces the Juno spacecraft has successfully entered orbit around Jupiter. And on the 24th of August the same year, researchers announced the discovery of Proxima b, an Earth-sized exoplanet that is in the habitable zone of the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun. And on the 28th of November, the four new chemical elements, Nihonium, Moscovium, Tennessine and Oganesson, are officially named and added to the periodic table. Next, on the 22nd of February in 2017, astronomers announced the discovery of seven Earth-sized exoplanets, which may all be in a habitable zone orbiting the star TRAPPIST-1. And on the 20th of May 2017, the unusual dimming of Tabby star is announced, starting the mystery that aliens might be constructing a Dyson sphere or a Dyson swarm around the star. On the 15th September 2017, the Cassini mission comes to an end as the probe dives into the Saturnian atmosphere. And on the 26th of October 2017, NASA reports an object named Umoamoa that is believed to be the first interstellar comet to pass through the solar system. This is followed by on the 5th of September Google's new Alpha Zero AI beating the champion chess program after teaching itself in only 4 hours. On the 2nd of April 2018, the Taigong 1 space lab came down over the South Pacific Ocean, northwest of Tahiti. Then, on the 25th of July 2018, scientists report the discovery of the first subglacial lake of liquid water on Mars. Next, on the 25th of November, the Luna and Nana twins are the world's first genetically edited babies. They were genetically edited to be resistant to HIV. On the 1st of January 2019, the New Horizons probe performs a flyby of Ultima Thule, the first Kuiper Belt object that gets a flyby. And on the 13th of February, the Mars rover Opportunity has officially ceased to function. Then, on the 10th of April, the first ever image of a black hole is released. Followed up by on the 28th of October, the ancestor of all modern humans is identified and to have lived in Botswana. Lastly, on the 18th of December 2019, the Sheops space telescope is launched, searching for ever more exoplanets. So this was my fifth year on YouTube. This year my channel went from 30 to 40,000 subscribers, meaning that one in every 200,000 people is now subscribed to my channel. The demonetization hit the channel hard, losing over 6 million views, but hopefully 2020 will let me make a comeback. I hope to remake most if not all of my deleted videos in the coming year, so stay tuned for those. And to all of those who are already here, thank you guys for supporting my channel and let's make another year of YG Science together. I hope you all had a great decade and let's make it to 2030 together.